Hey guys and welcome back to another YouTube video. As you saw, my crazy ass woke up at 5 o'clock in the morning. But it was kind of nice. Woke up, had a coffee, went for a walk slash run, came back, read my book, got ready, had my meetings in the morning and guess what? It's like literally 11.30 in the morning and I'm going to make breakfast but just goes to show how much you can get done when you do wake up at a stupid time like me. But anyway, so this video, I wanted it to be kind of what I'm doing in quarantine to stay motivated because I've been having so many questions and look, like this shit is hard. It's, it's not gonna be easy. You are told to stay in one place. You are told to also be in isolation with maybe people and situations that you don't wanna be under. And look, like I'm fortunate enough to be safe but there are people in isolation that are not safe hey but there are people in isolation that you know it's gonna it's gonna contribute to their anxiety and depression and look we're all a community here we're all a team and just know if you're going through anything right now we're all in this together and we have each other's back and just know that this is gonna make you so much more stronger and to anyone who is lacking motivation who is lacking that that inspo that they need. I really hope that throughout this video, these tips that I give you truly help. And just know that if during the video you cracked up at any time, that's what I'm here for. Right, let's make breakfast. So if you guys wanna know kind of like how I make my breakfast, if you go on any what I eat in a day, the eggs are always the same, the oats are always the same. However, I didn't add any protein to my oats this time around, I just had them with a bit of cinnamon, some maple syrup and also just hot water and they're good to go and add some berries on top. So, like we've established, we're all in quarantine, we're all like suffering right now, but it's like where are you going to find this motivation to keep on going and where are you going to find this motivation? to actually get up and move your body. And I think it's all fair and well, like following people on Instagram and people being super inspirational and giving you tips and advice, but fundamentally you've got to start with yourself. If you keep making excuses, if you are the type of person that always finds something wrong. And what I mean about that is the type of person that always has self-loathing and the type of person who always seems to find an excuse when it comes to training. I'm gonna keep it really brutal with you. You gotta stop making excuses. And I'm not talking about the excuses where like you are super tired and you need a rest day, or you just feeling super sad one day and you just wanna stay in bed all day, that, that's okay. But if you're constantly making excuses, if you're constantly unhappy, you gotta reflect back to yourself. So no amount of people, people's advice, no amount of people you follow is gonna help you. It starts with you. So you gotta ask yourself, what is it that you wanna change and why do you wanna change it? And you'll soon understand why your why is. And what I mean by that is, it's not about fitting into a dress size, it's not about you looking a certain way. Your why will come deeper than that. It will be the drive that will push you to actually achieving the goals that you want to achieve. For example, my why to training and my why to this lifestyle is because I was so sick and tired of feeling so sorry for myself. Day in, day out, I felt sorry for myself. I felt tired all the time. I felt lethargic all the time. And I was done. I was so sick of feeling that way. I was so unhappy. And look, like not every day I wake up and I'm like chirpy and ready to rock and roll, you know? But it's like, it was every day I was sad. Every single day I was sad. Like what the hell, I don't, I don't wanna, I don't wanna live like that. And I had to ask myself, what is it I wanna change? I felt tired, so I looked at my diet. I looked at whether I was training. I felt lethargic. Why was that? Was I getting enough sleep? Was I getting enough water? Was I actually fueling my body from within? And soon you'll start to unravel with these unhealthy habits that you've accumulated over time. And it's you, it's your responsibility to take a step back and 
analyze the situation. I can sit here and guide you and give you advice and you can follow some inspirational people, but fundamentally you've got to ask yourself why. So to kickstart this whole shebang of a video, I want to know your why. So let me know in the comments below right now, pause this video and let me know why your why is. That's a mouthful. See you in tip number two. Huge update, two things. One, I had a nap. Can you tell by the face? I needed a nap, I had like half an hour, just a quick power one. It was quite nice. I have been so obsessed with this book, Swipe to Unlock. Um, I started reading it not long ago, literally I started reading it yesterday. No, I started reading it this morning. Oh my God, I thought I started reading yesterday. So I started reading this morning, I cannot put it down. If you are the type of person that's super interested in data, tech, apps, um, <laughs> the digital world, e-commerce, um, anything like that, you will love that book. Um, I think everyone has this huge misconception about me that I just train all day, like that is my job to train. That is not my job. My job is to run a business and a team of soon to be 21 employees at Tone and Sculpt. That's my job. My job isn't to necessarily manage them because we have a manager at Tone and Sculpt that deals with all our operations. My job is to lead a team and there's a difference between managing a team and leading a team. You know, I'm the person that sits down with each individual and we come up with ideas and we brainstorm and we look at the future and we look at the future in tech, we look at the future in um, e-commerce, in digital marketing, what's the next thing that we can do to better and better and better our digital product. I'm also the person that looks at everything wrong with my company and you know I'm super self-critical in a healthy way and what I mean by that is if there is something constantly um, coming up or there's a concern from a client of us it doesn't get pushed to one side we listen we're not the type of company that just takes on criticism and it's kind of like yeah whatever no like we listen we observe and we mitigate any issues that we have working out i work out one hour if that half an hour so i'll do my cardio and that's me walking my dog or like i did this morning running but i train train for half an hour to one hour like everybody else I do not train twice, three times a day. That is not what I do. Honestly, I don't even think that's good for you. Like your body needs rest. So that leads me on, sorry I'm talking so much, but this is kind of what I want you to get an insight of life and like kind of like what I'm dealing with right now, quarantine. And that's another thing. It's, um, we spoke about excuses and pushing them aside and understanding your why. I really wanna talk about finding that motivation. And I think this is the biggest, biggest tip I'm ever gonna give you. You are never, ever gonna be motivated 365 days a year. You are never, ever, ever gonna be motivated every single day of your life. I'm sorry, but you're just not. Motivation will come at its highest form and it will go and you will wonder what is going on, where is it? And that is part of your journey. I'm motivated some days, I'm really not motivated other days. Sometimes I'm not motivated for weeks and I'm wondering what's wrong with me. And the truth is, that is life. Life is never one straight linear line. It's up, it's down, it's rolling around. And the sooner you accept that you will never have motivation consistently the more happy you will be and the less pressure you will put on yourself and what i mean by that is stop also trying to find motivation from things um and what i mean by that is not everyone is going to give you motivation just like not everyone is going to give you happiness okay you can't go into a relationship if you're not happy with yourself and expect someone else to make you happy i've done that before it didn't really work so what I'm trying to say is, is that sometimes it's not motivation that you need. Sometimes it's just you getting up and just getting it done. 
when you don't want to, when you have those days where you're not motivated at all, that's when you tell yourself, nope, I need to get up and I need to do it. And like I said, there's a difference between when you're tired and there's a difference between when you're just being a little bit lazy, which we all are once in a while. I do it, I put my hands up. So ask yourself, are you being tired? Are you genuinely tired? Are you being a little bit lazy? And if you are being a little bit lazy and making those excuses like we spoke about, get your ass up and move. Move that body because I promise you, you're gonna feel so much better afterwards. And look, like I may be talking a lot one and two, this might be blunt or to the point, but I'm here to just tell you how it is and remind you that one, some of the excuses we make as human beings, especially me, they're not the best ones. So let's push, push them aside and remember our why. And two, sometimes we're just being a little bit lazy and using those excuses that we've accumulated. So let's push those aside and let's get up and move. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do right now because guess what? I actually burnt my sweet potato. That's sad, cooking with Chrissy didn't go the best. So great stuff. But what I am gonna do is have some pre-workout and I'm gonna get a little upper body session in and some abs and that's me done for the day, really. Good stuff, good stuff, so let's train. Okay, so I finished training. I did some shoulders and abs. Um, and now I've just made some lettuce burgers. So these are my favorite. I love buns too, but I don't know what it is about the crunch of the lettuce. I just love them. So I'm gonna show you them real quick. So they don't look the best, but I promise you they taste the best. You don't judge a book by its cover, everyone. Okay, we don't judge here. So burger that I put this um, burger chipotle burger style sauce. I put some mustard. You're either a mustard fan or you're not, but I just love mustard. And then some ketchup, cheddar cheese, onion, put in a lettuce, and then I'm gonna be done. So that's what I'm gonna have. I've got some sweet potato fries in the oven as well. Oh, so I've got them there. Just waiting for those to cook. Gonna eat this up, watch some Netflix, and then I'm gonna share my last little tip with you guys. See you soon. And I'm actually making some pasta downstairs. I'm making some chicken pasta with chicken, spinach, mushroom, onion, garlic, with a bit of chopped tomatoes, pinch of salt, oregano, and then penne pasta. And you're good to go, and that's like a banging little dinner there, with a bit of parmigiano. So that's... Oh my god, guys, I walked up the stairs, how am I out of breath? Oh my god. The last thing I wanna talk about is routine. And I think that when it comes to any type of motivation, any type of you keeping going with something, it all stems down to one thing, and that is habit. Habit, routine, they're pretty much the same thing. And when you implement healthy habits into your life, that's when you'll start seeing the, a huge impact. And I feel like with anything that you do in life, when you rush something, now I'm speaking from experience, when you rush anything, a project, a relationship, an essay, it's never gonna be the best, right? So it's the same thing with habits. If you're rushing to change your life, if you're rushing to go to the gym and if you're rushing to get these goals, you're gonna crash and it's unsustainable. And when something is unsustainable, it's never gonna last. What you wanna start doing is getting into a routine and implementing very small habits to begin with. 
So here's an example, and I can do a whole video on this because this is exactly what we implement on the Tone and Sculpt app. And this is exactly why everyone loves the app so much because it's we do like hidden habits. So for example, in the morning when you wake up, have a glass of water ready by your bedside. And before you get out of bed, you're gonna drink that glass of water. So the first thing you're gonna do is drink one glass of water before you even step out of your bed. That means you've stayed hydrated, that means you've got your first glass of water out of the way, and that means you're not waiting until you go downstairs and distracting yourself with something else. Another habit is you're not gonna go on your phone the first thing in the morning. You're gonna get up, you're gonna open your blinds, open your window, you're gonna do your bed, have a glass of water, then be, go on your phone. So there you go, that's another small habit that you're implementing. It's not about you just rushing to do something, it's about these small little things that you are changing in your life to become bigger and bigger and better and these are what routines are about. It's the same thing with brushing your teeth. You would never really contemplate whether you should brush your teeth or not, you just kind of do it, it's a habit, right? So it's the same thing with fitness and it's the same thing with staying motivated. In order for you to stay motivated, you have to set yourself healthy habits and routines in place and small ones to begin with that will eventually become big ones and will change your life. And what I mean by the Tony Sculpt app is, for example, with any habit, the rule of a habit is you have a trigger, you have the pattern and you have a reward. So with our trigger is we have your daily workout. When you go on your daily workout, you have your actual routine that you have to follow and you are rewarded with your weekly start. And it's the same thing with any type of routine. You have your trigger, so let's say for example, you're waking up in the morning, you see in the glass of water, that's your trigger, you're drinking it, that's your pattern. Your reward is you feeling hydrated and feeling good about yourself because water is key. This is just a small example. This is what I do on a daily, daily basis. I implement very, very small habits that are changing my life for the better. And this is exactly what I want you to do. So yeah, I know this video has been really dense with me talking and I'm really sorry. I don't like sitting and talking too much, but I know that something I said, well I hope, fingers crossed, something I said helped. And like I said, if you want me to do a video on habits and like the psychology behind habits, because this is, I love learning about this stuff, please let me know in the comments below and I'll do a whole video on implementing how healthy habits a small and sufficient and sustainable way. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a bit different to what I normally do. All right, I love you always and forever and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.